Okay, so I wanted to wait until this deck was more on the complete side before I made a deck profile out of it, but since this was fresh on my mind and I couldn't really get it out, I decided to just make it now. Keep in mind, this deck isn't complete, so consider this um, a V1 of the deck so, of sorts. So, anyway... This is an Anubis Mon deck focused on necromancy and whatnot. And I'm going to describe the types of cards that are going to be in this deck. So, for my Digitama, I run one Yaman. Um, basically because I tend to get rid of a lot of cards, um... You know, plus a thousand DP, pretty pretty good Digitama with its inherited effect right there. Two of the structure deck Pagumon. Um, I'm not sure if I want to maybe replace this with like you know the Yaman or later on yet, but I'm gonna decide that later on. But still, pretty nice effect. Um, trash two on deletion, so yeah. Um, I want to get more Impmon so that I can combo this, so that I can get rid of 10, or not 10, 5. And then 4, and then um, 2 of the BT2 Z Zalmon. Um, whenever I have 10 cards in my trash, um, it gives me retaliation, so yeah, pretty good card. And for my rookies, I run four Drekmon. I run four because this is mostly an option card focused deck. And, you know, it's effect when you play it, uh, you add, you know, an option card that's either a play cost of one or seven from your trash. I run some cards that are one through seven. So, you know, pretty nice card all around right there. Four, then I run four Sukemon on inherited effect on deletion, gain one memory. Three copies of Labramon on play. You draw one, discard one. The deck is focused on having cards in your trash, so you know, pretty good. And then finally, two, three copies of the structure deck, Gablumon. You know, inherited effect, when attacking, you draw one. You know, pretty good card all around. Okay. Next up. Next up for the champions, we have three Black Growlmon. When one of my other Digimon gets deleted, I gain security attack plus one. You know, the, um, I do like to actually um, delete a lot of my Digimon, so that's why I like running it. Yeah. Three copies of Devimon from BT4. Um, Digiburst 2, delete one of my opponent's level 3 Digimon. Not a bad mix-up card right there. I don't really get the Digiburst effect off often, but when I do, you know, still pretty trollish. Two copies of the BT5 Mas Ma Masamon. Is that how you say Masuma? Anyway, um, jamming, you know, not a bad card to play when you have it in your hand. Or, you know, as an inheritable. And then to round up my champions, three copies of the structure deck, Garurumon. Um, same as the Gabumon, you draw it, you draw a card, then you discard a card. 
definitely, definitely a really nice card to have, and I, I really like this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then for my ultimates, four copies of the structure deck Skull Satamon. Yeah, um, this is what I mean when I say, like, you know, you don't have to worry so much about, um, about just, um, getting cards in your hand or anything, because, like, you know, Skull Satamon and other cards in the deck basically make it so that you can get easily get, you know, cards from your graveyard to your hand or on the field, so, yeah, the main, so yeah. Definitely, definitely helps. Um, I might change it from four to three later on, but as of right now, I'm running four. Two copies of Jokermon. Jokermon, when it gets deleted, I can play a level three Digimon, which, you know, um, it will, which, you know, um, if I have Anubismon out, I can just, um, I can just attack with this, it get, and then if it gets deleted, then I just, you know, play a level 3, I gain rush, you know, pretty good combo right there. And then to round up the champions, I have three copies of Neo Devimon. Because a lot of people tend to focus on the tamers, when I have this out, um... When my opponent plays a tamer, I gain three memory. So let's say um, they are, they're like, okay, well, I'm just going to play this tamer and then gain, and then, you know, just still have my turn. Nope, I get, nope, you give my opponent, your opponent three memory. Good job. <laughs> yeah, that definitely a really nice trollish card right there. And then for my megas. Three copies of Venom My Lotus, or two copies of Venom My Lotus Mon. Two Digimon gain retaliation because I tend to just, you know, constantly keep getting cards out. Um, I basically just have a Brookie out, it gets retaliation, and then I attack a suspended um, ultimate or, or whatnot, and then there you go. And then four copies of Anubis Mon. Really, really nice card. When Digivolving, I play a level three Digimon from my trash. And oh, it's yeah, it's, yeah, it just says level three. So meaning that this can actually work with any level three. It doesn't just have to be purple. So yeah, good to know. Now, I don't run any tamers in this deck as of right now. I want to wait until I can get more mats to run it, so as of right now, I just have options cards in the deck. And for my option cards, two copies of Nailbone. It's a seven cost card right here, and um, I'm definitely going to, you know, just um, figure out a way to run my option cards more effectively, but basically, Nailbone, play two purple Digimon, one level three, one level four. Really nice card. Two copies of... Two copies of Demonic Disaster. Um, delete one of my purple Digimon. And then unsuspend another purple. You know, t to just kind of keep the assault going. Also, I can just, you know, just uh, get my Digimon in the graveyard, which is what I want. Mm -hmm. And then I have two copies of Revive from Dar from the Darkness. Play a level, f delete one of my purple Digimon, then I can play a level 5 Digimon from my graveyard. But the nice thing about this is that it's a you may, so meaning that if I just want to, like, um, get rid of one of my Digimon, then I can. 
and I don't have to play like a level 5 Digimon. So, why would I want to do that, you might ask? Well, well, that's because Jack Raid. Four copies right here. Um, Jack Raid, this is definitely the staple card of the deck where, um, where, you know, because I have a bunch, because the deck is based on, you know, just discarding a bunch and then getting them back in your hand, you basically will, I've actually had a game that will be uploaded to my friend's channel, um, where I just pretty much yeeted my entire deck in the graveyard, and then, um, <laughs> yeah, I lost that game, but it, it was... It was genuinely hilarious that I just had so much draw power in the deck that I was just drawing cards and discarding cards, and it, it was amazing. <laughs> so yeah, Jack Raid, definitely a staple card of the deck. But anyway, um, this deck is currently in its beta, or should I say pre-alpha stage. Um... I'm definitely going to be replacing some cards later on as, you know, I go on. But yeah, just um expect to see more of this deck in the future. This is this actually became one of my favorite decks to play and uh yeah, that's about it. See ya.